How you doing? It's Henry of Mowers and Blowers again. This is uh, part two of my uh, HRZ Honda 216 TVA. Got the deck for free from Pete Lombardi through a trade. Um, engine also came with it. In my last episode you saw we uh, got a cable for it for the kill switch, uh, for the kill lever. We uh, re attached the uh, throttle. We put the original engine back on here again. It uh, started fine, but um, it surged. So we did a comprehensive carburetor clean on it, which uh, fixed that problem, and now this thing runs great. Um, the blade adapter, there was an attempt to take the blade adapter off, but it's fused onto the crankshaft, and somebody tried to take it off, and it bent the blade adapter in so much that the blades were off-center and vibrated. So we bent that back out. Also, the um, crankshaft pulley for the self-propulsion was also bent out of shape, so we uh, fixed that too. So uh, it sort of feels like it wants to work. Uh, when you lift the back of the mower up in the air, the wheel turns, but once you touch it onto the ground again, there's no power. It also sounds like the belt is rubbing, you know, like slipping. So perhaps we don't have the correct belt on here, which I just picked out of my bunch, but it feels pretty tight, you know. Also, another problem with this is that has to be fixed is because even if I did, the transmission is bad and I gutted out the gearbox and made it a, just a, a push mower, it doesn't go backwards. It just locks when you try to push it backwards. So we're going to take off this wheel all the snap rings, the washers and stuff, and apparently we probably will end up taking out the whole transmission. Gears look good. Let me get you closer. There's a wave ring here and a washer. There's a snap ring. It's so dirty, you gotta find the holes. There's one snap ring off. There's a washer here too, okay. When you put this on, you have to remember that the uh, vertical um, back here is that way. The groove goes forward like that. See what I'm saying? Don't forget the order it came out of. Also, this is a Woodruff key. Woodruff key is spring-loaded in here. A lot of people say that one of the problems is that that part is so dirty that this doesn't spring back up. That's not the case in this. That's not the story here.
take this off now. The spring feels good. There's not a lot of crud build up in there. Could use some grease. There's another like one eighth washer. Another snap ring. And remember, we're taking this off. Why? Oh, right. Because I need to figure out what's wrong with the transmission. And at least try to get it so it'll um, go backwards. And I've been watching a bunch of YouTube videos on how to do that. And apparently it's notorious for, um, there's a plastic um, sleeve that's in there that grips onto the transaxle. These holes are blocked with stuff, man. So I can't even, you know, pull this out if I wanted to right now. So. And so we have to smooth out the transaxle. Here's the second snap ring. there. It's a good thing that I have this on video because I have no idea how this is going to go back on again if I didn't. There's another washer in here. There we go. And I believe we have to we have to get the other side now because this doesn't do anything. I'm going to go put this on its other side now, but to prevent the the spring inside this uh, keyway here, I'm going to tape it so that the spring doesn't fly out. Once you lose that spring, you're screwed. Just going to do the same thing on this side now. I'm going to put this wheel and that stuff on that side so I don't get confused. And I'm just going to do exactly what I just did on the other side. Now that uh, both wheels are completely off with its um, washers and spacers and snap rings, they're all off, still won't budge. I banged this a little bit with a hammer and started to move down a little bit. Um, but I think these baffles are on the way. So uh, I'm going to slowly just try to loosen up these baffles and take them out. I've already taken out two baffles, but now there's this one that's definitely in the way of the transmission sliding out. So I'm just gonna painstakingly take, try to take this one and that one off. I've taken uh, one baffle off of this area here. And I've got this one over here just sort of coming out. So it took some doing. Here's that sleeve. And the sleeve is really on there, man like fused on there, that's why it doesn't turn, you know? So I'm going to have to get some uh, PB Blaster or penetrating oil using my go-to product.
penetrating oil from my friends at Lucas Oil Products. I'm going to try to wiggle that out. Lucas Oil Products, it always works. I take my uh, pliers like this and I just tap it like this. And there's the sleeve. This is the sleeve that they say cause all the problems. See where rust builds up over here, right? It's all rough and stuff. This is supposed to be freewheeling. It's supposed to just spin. And as you can see, you can, I could barely I could barely get this out. So we need to polish this cleanly. And that's the reason why these things don't go backwards. Um, as for the transmission, I think it's shot. The reason why is because here, see this part here? It's supposed to just go back a little bit less than an inch, okay? I can take my finger and push it back. It's not too bad, maybe three inches. So I think that I have to tighten the cable a lot more than what I did for this to engage. But I've seen videos of the guys just uh, pulling this back all the way over here, you know? This, this is actually only an, about an inch and a half or so. But it's supposed to only go like that much, you know? Like half an inch play. But the play is like almost a full inch and a half. But I think that still might be okay though. I just need to tighten this belt more so that when I pull this thing, I'm going to get some sandpaper and clean that out. Just taking some uh, 200 grit, 300 grit, 300 400. I didn't say. It's fine. See what I've done there already? Keep doing that. This so this side is done already. See, here's the sleeve. Look at this. It's nice and loose on here now. See, and that's how it's supposed to be. Before I couldn't even bang this out. Now look. So I'm going to pack this with grease. I'm going to put grease on here so that it. Uh, it's nice and smooth. All right, fellas. Well, it took simply forever. Uh, I removed the transmission. I grinded down uh, those side areas there. I greased it. Uh, put the uh, sleeves back on there. And I uh, put the baffles on. The baffles were a pain in the butt, let me tell you. So check it out.
So it rolls forward like it always did. But look, now it rolls backwards too. Forwards. And it goes backwards. I also tightened the um, connection for that. So uh, there was a ton of oil that came out, you know. So I'm just going to try it. to take the spark plug out. As you can see, there's uh, still oil drooping out of that area. I'm pretty sure that the spark plug is completely contaminated with oil. I've actually never checked the spark plug before. I have the uh, spark plug out. I'm just going to pull on this to blow out anything that might be there. There wasn't any. Clean the spark plug now. Just wiped it clean. That's all you need to do. I'll put it back in. So now I'm going to start it up, or try to at least. Hopefully it starts. spray some uh, liquid into the uh, carburetor that I see. There's always a reason, fellas. <laughs> no air was getting in there because there's just oil all over the place. Yeah. Probably not going to start now. Show the carburetor's filled with oil. If I have to take that carburetor apart again, I'm going to lose my brain. But uh, being that's the case here, I almost have to think that the carburetor is filled with oil. Uh, I'm not worried about my driveway so much because uh, I'm getting it redone, hopefully soon. But uh, this is terrible. I mean, it's just filled with oil. Earl's going to be inside the carburetor for sure. Unless the gas took over. I mean, it's not going to start because this thing was filled with um, oil and um, couldn't breathe, you know. I'm just going to try and start it now without the air cleaner.
this run for a while, burn off oil, let the new gas trickle into the carburetor bowl, and flush out the oil. Can't believe the self-propulsion works now, man. Let it run for a while. Used a self-propulsion, walked around my driveway. Now it's on uh, idle. Burn like a kitten, man. Put a new uh, filter in there. It's just fantastic, I'm telling you. Man. New filter. Check the oil because I lost so much oil, right? Oil levels are fine. I think it just had too much oil in there too, you know? Man, I can't believe it. Self-propulsion works, man. Engine runs great. I'm gonna see about uh, what I should do about those caster wheels. I'm gonna try to take those uh, covers off and see if we can get those things to work. If not, I'm just gonna remove the cables. And remove this uh, thing here. Oh, you know what? I think this has something to do with the uh, transmission. You know, the speed, because it was going pretty fast. Nice little mower now, huh? As a matter of fact, you see, uh, after I, you know, spread out that oil and wiped it a little bit with the oil, I don't think it needs a, I don't think it needs a paint job at all. Anyway, so I'm going to mess with those caster wheel cables now, but uh, how about that, guys? Moves backwards when you pull it. Self-propulsion uh, self now starts to work. I'm pretty excited. It's a nice mower, man. How much money did I put into it so far? Oh, that's right. Nothing. I got it completely free. That's right, free. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry, Mowers and Blowers. This is uh, part three, or four, I don't remember, of my uh, caster wheel Honda HRZ216 TDA with a GCV160 engine on it. The standard one. I think they made more 160s than anything else. Anyhow, uh, as you guys know from the other episodes, I got this running as a bagger, so propulsion works. Um, today I'm going to mess with the uh, caster wheels. The uh, lever that engages the cables to lock the caster wheels straight doesn't really work. And I wanted to find out why. Because actually, I don't really want to lock it straight. You know what I mean? Because then that defeats the purpose of a zero turn, doesn't it? Right? Uh, so I wanted to just basically remove the cables and get rid of it, you know? I couldn't figure out how to get this off because from the top you couldn't see there's no screws or holes or anything. So if you look underneath, there's actually two screws, two Phillips. So I'll take those off in a minute. In the meantime, I was looking at these wheels, and since it's rear propelled, the rear wheels are bald. Because they're used the most, you know. The front ones are still pretty good. I have this old one that I haven't been able to get rid of. It uh, Sometimes it starts, sometimes it doesn't. It's a very temperamental. Could never figure out what was wrong with this. I, I tried everything, literally. Everything in my knowledge, I tried. Some It start, takes like five. Sometimes it starts on a first pull. Sometimes it starts on ten pulls, you know. Sometimes it doesn't start at all. Anyway, um, this one I got from Pete Lombardi. It had Honda wheels on it. Very good wheels, too. Problem is, the diameter of this is uh, too big, and also the propulsion gear on the inside is too big. So I can't use that. So I wanted to change this out to something else. These are the front wheels off of that thing. You know, the cracked deck one. The tread's pretty good. So I read somewhere, or watched a YouTube video somewhere, where you could actually, Honda makes these wheels where you can remove the tire from the rim. So I compared. They're identical in diameter. Just one has less tread than the other, you know what I mean? So I want to try to take um, this tire off and replace it with this one. I already took the bolt out. As you can see, that's the gear on the inner part. This is a front wheel, right? But they're both the same diameter wheel. So 
So I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and just pry on this and see if I can get the tire off. I have this long screwdriver. And I don't care if I damage that rim because I'm just going to chuck it, you know what I mean? But uh, that, you see that? Problem is, the process of taking this off, this good one, I don't want to ruin this rim, right? So, it may be kind of difficult to take that one off. I'll have to just practice with this one, see what we can do, you know? Doesn't seem very easy. And it shouldn't be, because you don't want the rim, uh, the tire to come off while you're mowing, you know? I'm going to have to try a different way, and this doesn't seem like it's going to come off very easily. Let's stick it in the front part here. Ooh, look. If you do it from the front, it's much easier. Maybe get two screwdrivers. Maybe one on the back and do that. Look at this. wasn't too bad. Look at that. There it is. There's a good Honda tire. Well, decent. Not, not new, but deaf better than that. Deaf. Watch me take this one off, and this actually is too big, because it kind of looks like it's... I mean, it should be the same diameter, you know what I mean? Anyway... So that's that. This is trash. So I'm going to try to do this from the front. Try not to damage it. Hmm. This may not work. And why? They seem different. This one seems much thinner. Maybe I shouldn't even try it, you know? It's different. There's a lot more stuff here. This may not fit. This is not going to work. Because this tire is solid, one inch solid of rubber. And if just by the looks of this, this is just like a, an outside peel, you know? An outside layer of rubber covering a bigger wheel. So, I don't think that's going to work. Well, that's that. Now, just for fun, I took the bigger wheel off that thing and I figured since it's a bigger wheel, maybe that almost brand new tread on here will be big enough to just slip over this. So I'm just trying it, you know. Um, it's definitely easier taking it off from the front because the lip is like less, if you will. I mean, it's just rubber, you know what I mean? It seems to be much easier to take off if you do it from the front rather than the back. But yeah, you see this, um, it's a bigger diameter uh, wheel, and if it's just the lip, you know, it may just slip right over that existing, um, see what I'm saying? So this, this theoretically just slip right over this, you know, and just cover this, um, because if you have the tire with this, is it about the same? Seems kind of small, but you know what? I'm going to give it a try anyway. <clears throat> as long as I have a better tread on this tire, that's really what I need, you know? Why not, right? Why not? I'm 
seems pretty hard to get on here. It should work. Look at that. Look at that. That works, fellas. I think that's going to work. I'm going to have a new tire now. Just basically putting this rubber thing on here. Oop, I don't want to jab my uh, arm. Got to be really careful. Don't get complacent. Don't rush. All right. It's, it's a little uh, puffy. You know what I mean? I don't think this is going to work in a while because it's going to seem like it's, um, I don't think that'll work because there's, there's too much gap in between. There's air in between, not air, but you know, it's too big. So I don't think it'll roll smoothly. I think it'll, um, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, maybe it'll work. <laughs> I mean, it's just a lawnmower, right? I'm not taking this on the highway. Maybe this will work. I'll put it on and see. I'll do the other one, too. So, it's not going to work. I'll tell you why. Because of the added uh, diameter with this thing on, it rubs on the height adjuster lever. Won't even go on. I swear, what a pickle. I uh, take that all back. I just uh, put it on, and it's fine. It clears. That's pretty cool. I'm going to do this on the other side. There we go. Actually, it works very well. Like it's just two screws holding the uh, locking mechanism cover. I'm uh, doing the lever for the uh, caster wheels, it's not even moving. It's almost like it's not even uh, touching. You know? Unless this is seized. cable seized. It's not going in or out. Honestly, fellas, I am not going to replace that. I'm just going to take the cables out and replace the cap and uh, disconnect that. Because honestly, it's a zero turn. Why would you want to lock the wheels to make it a non-zero turn? So there we go. I got rid of that ugly cable. Disconnected it from that area. And to get out of there. Now it looks nice and clean. 
Well, there it is. I guess that's the finished product. Um, <clears throat> so this is what we did. We uh, took out the cables for the caster wheels, right? Um, I retreaded the rear wheels with another mower. That bagger is from my uh, Plastic Harmony. Um, I forget the name of it. Anyway, um, that's the original engine on it. We cleaned the carb. Uh, we attached the throttle cable as well as a brake cable from another mower. And uh, we unbent the crankshaft pulley for the drive pulley. And uh, we banged out the, straightened out the blade adapter. And uh, man, this self propelled works and now rolls backwards. So I'm going to try it for the first time mowing.
pretty smooth, man. I'm pretty satisfied. It's a nice little mower, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's that. From nothing to something. It was a pain, though. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.
fits in here, man. And I, uh, my mistake was backing up into it with that hot muffler. It burned a hole in the back of that thing. Barely fits. See? Kind of sticks out. Oh, when it cools off, I can back it up. Mows a good lawn, I gotta tell ya. Uh, takes a little getting used to. I was hitting the fence a little bit. Um, I, I plopped down a little bit too much and I scalped my lawn over here, but I figured it out. <laughs> so, you know, I, I had to find the right length, you know, settings of that, because I wasn't used to it. But uh, that's a little too short, but uh, you know, it's good to get a nice clean cut uh, to start off with, and then when it grows back out again, <laughs> if it grows back out, um, I'll start with a higher setting. And that zero turns great. I don't know how I lived without it. Hey guys, support my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram at MowersBlowers. Check out my website, MowersBlowers.com. See you next time on Mowers and Blowers.